Yo, what's up guys? Remember to subscribe. Today I'm going to teach you a bunch of things that is really important for UK drill. So there are plenty of stuff that, that that's kind of in this software, you know, LMS, that you can use to really develop your UK drill beat. But a lot of people don't know about it because these type of settings are like really advanced for some people. And that's why I've made a tutorial on it. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is reversing your main instrument. Uh, you often hear you could drill beat, and I think like fifty percent of you could drill beats have often uh, <coughs> a reversed piano or reversed strings. So what you want to do is just make first a melody. Just two seconds. Uh, yeah, just make. What you want to do now is press your instrument and press FX. Um, just make sure this button here is checked. Add effects and type reverse and choose reverse delay. And what you want to do now is just slightly somewhere below zero and like 200 is fine. And now you can listen to it. So it seems like somewhere between uh, zero and maybe 500 is okay, but it depends how much reverse you want. And you can do this with piano strings and it sounds really dope. So I recommend this to people who are making UK drill beats. Let's go to the next one, changing frequency using automation during the song. So <clears throat> what's this about is that right before the drop, You kind of want the melody to sound like this. And you're probably asking, how did you get that sound? What you want to do is, if you're using Scene and Sub FX, you just press it and change the frequency to a lower frequency. So the normal one was at 72. So then I just changed it to 42 instead, you know. But even though you know how to do it now, you, you got to use the automation so that it kind of goes naturally with the song. So what you want to do is just make sure this, is, this frequency is at the one it was before. So mine is always at 72, you are probably somewhere else, but yeah, just make sure that you don't mess with this button right, right yet. What you want to do first of all is press this automation, automation button, press your instrument and control and hold and drag this frequency. Now you probably decided you want if that 42 is the kind of sign sound that sounds good for you then you may then you do that otherwise you can just try out so just find a value that you like and when you have found that value that kind of you think fits good right before the drop just leave it at there so mine is 42 now right here is 72 control hold and drag and just drag for that part there <coughs> where you want the melody to have another frequency so i just want it right here so i'm just dragging it like this and now you just copy or i mean control hold and press and drag this the reason why we had to do it is because right now, right when this music starts, the frequency will be 72. And right here, it will drop down to 42. And right when the kick hits, 
the frequency will go back to 72 uh, you can also like go oops you can go kind of below by pressing here so you if you want a kind of an increase that we can try that out and see how that sounds but yeah so let's listen to this Okay, I just you have to make sure when using these boxes that as you see there's just two boxes right here so we have to stick into this box these two boxes so what I did here was wrong so we can just try and go back to 72 so now let's listen to it now So what I did here was that I was increasing it from 42 or I went down from 42 to 25 and then I increased it to 72 right before the drop and that's a way to do it otherwise you can just keep it naturally at 42 so I recommend this right before the drop or just during the song let's look at the hi-hat and start snare rolls so when it comes to the hi-hat you want to make sure you're using this type of hi-hats one of the two not this one this is more this is more of a trap uh, when it comes to the hi-hat just choose different patterns here and when it comes to the rolling you want to press this button and make sure it's last note then just press this one time then I mean just mark this and control C control V and now while you're holding control use your arrows hold shift and you can go downwards and now you're able to have them to roll like this or you can just press simply easily like this but make sure it's last note and that you press this so that it get registered as last note so you can just roll them like this yeah, it went real, real quick because the BPM is real high but yeah, you get the point now let's look at the snare roll where is that yeah here we go So when it comes to this narrow, you often won't, you just make two snares like right next to each other, make sure the BPM is 140, what you want to do is do the same, make sure it's 132 and last note, then you go and add two notes to the right of these two notes, so one, two, one, two. That's how you get that sound, you see. And that's that's something they often use in UK drill beats. Now the 808 slide. What you want to do is just create your pattern here. Yeah? It doesn't matter if you are let's say this is your pattern what you want to do is slide them by pressing pressing make sure this one is pressed and now you can just wait if, if i want the 808 to slide right here i just leave it like that and i can make like if i want it to go upwards i'm going to do something like this if i want it to go downwards from the middle I'm just going to and make sure that you press this one 116 you'll have better options you know 
right here I'm just going to try something different you know there's a lot of sliding you can do you don't have to slide all the time just make sure that maybe in the end can be a good thing 